I think all the exercise videos I did in this factoring difference of squares lesson had just a single variable. I think they were all just x or just y. So we're going to do a couple more examples here, um, still applying the same rules where you have something squared minus something else squared, and it factors as the square root plus the square root times the square root minus the square root. Only we're going to go ahead and do it using a situation where we have two variables, two different variables like we do in our sort of our reference pattern here. So let's try um, 16x squared minus 25y squared. So we have the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of y squared is y. So we write that down, put minus in between, write it again, and put plus in between, and we're done. Let's go ahead and fill, fill that out real quick, verify that we got it right. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 5y is plus 20xy. Negative 5y times 4x is minus 20xy. And then negative 5y times 5y would be negative 25y squared. So those middle two terms cancel, positive and negative. So we're left with just 16x squared minus 25y squared. So yep, that works just fine. So our factored form is 4x minus 5y times 4x plus 5y. All right, let's try one more. I want to look at a different situation here. Maybe we'll do two more while to see. Let's look at um, 4x squared and 9y squared and see if this one might be a little bit different. So if we were looking for the square roots, we'd have 2x and 9y, 3y. So that's easy enough. But we have a plus in here in the middle. Does that make a difference? Well, let's see. What if we did our same pattern and did 2x plus 3y? So this should be the answer if it doesn't make a difference. Let's see what happens when we foil it out. We get 2x and 2x, that's 4x squared. So, so far we're okay. 4x squared, 4x squared. And then we have 2x and positive 3y, so that's positive 6xy. Well, okay, but let's see what happens to do the other one. Negative 3y and 2x, so minus 6xy. Okay, so that cancels out, no problem. And then we have negative 3y times 3y. That's negative 9y squared. So the 9y squared part still fits, but the negative doesn't. We have a negative here and a positive here. So when you have a square term and a square term, and they're not subtracted from each other, they're added to each other, you can't use this pattern. So hence the fact that we specified that it only works for difference of squares. In order to be able to use this trick, you have to make sure that you have two numbers that are squared subtracted from each other. So if you get an example where you have a squared plus b squared, and you're supposed to factor it, don't use your difference of squares rule because it's not going to work when you have that middle term or that second term is positive where you have a plus in between them.